Welcome back, everybody. Teacher plays with more CK3 at Game of Thrones. After the untimely passing of our Lord Jorah Marmont, who we loved, we are now taking over as Lord Varen, his son. Um, Lord Varen is generous, brave, intent, stubborn. He's a skilled tactician, gallant, unyielding defender, hale. He's a knight and a skilled fighter. So we actually have a pretty good air here which is nice. One thing I do want to mention is I couldn't figure out why he couldn't get levies up here. And thank you to, um, I think it was Mexico got low or Mexico get low, uh, mentioned that they were tribal up here, not feudal. So I'll be honest. I did a little bit of, uh, debugging. I took this land away from him, gave it back to him and I feudalized since then. So I'm hoping that that will change, uh, his overall control and power. We're going to need to help him a bit. Uh, let's increase control of the area. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, so yeah, I think we continue to start our conquest of the north, but what that means is for us to take the next area, we need to save up at least 500 gold uh, because that's what it costs to feudalize a holding. So I think that's kind of a nice aim. As soon as we get 500 gold for something, we know we can take more of the north north beyond the wall. Um, but I still want to unite the northern mountains as best I can um, with our brother-in-law and a descendant of uh, Lord Eddard, I believe. Yeah, uh, but he's a bastard that married our half-sister. So I think the next thing we need to do is get a claim on Stoutfast. I think that's the next thing. Um, we'll get our councils going into here. Start fabricating claim there. I would like to have more money, but we're just... Uh, we just don't make any money. I could negotiate alliances. Um, my brother-in-law... Lord Small John of the Last Lands. Actually, that would be pretty nice. He's married to Lady Gillian, my sister. Let's do that. Get that for without marrying someone off. Lord Balder, we're, we'll get an alliance with so people can't really mess with him. Oh, Frella Snow. Become my wet nurse. Right, too. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to everyone. Support on this. Uh on this channel has been fantastic um i've been trying to get a couple mods to work i don't know if they're working like there's one that's called a game of thrones plus that's supposed to change crests i don't know if these are the changed crests or not i'd have to play around with that uh, i don't know how long this episode will be because uh i gotta make dinner and meals for the week so we'll see recording it on a sunday kind of got lazy on the saturday which is what i normally record. um let's take a look but most of our major vassals are pretty happy with us. Hind's End is not. So why? He's a drowned god, maybe? I'm going to crown a floor be the stubborn, righteous, stoic. Oh, he just doesn't like me. Old gods is hostile. So that's good to know. Don't give, uh... <laughs> I like that they're hostile. We're gonna, you know what? We're gonna pass High Crown Authority, which is gonna annoy us. We were gonna do a tour last time. Oh, he's really upset now. That's too bad. I can crush you like a worm. Step out of line. So I think we'll unpause now, see what happens. Got an alliance. Excellent. Two alliances. The north. My court is going on two issues. Soon, I shall soon be visiting Mormon to expand your castle lands. Oh, okay. So King Rob is going to come and visit uh, Bear Island. Interesting. That's what we were going to do. But with the time passing, is are his levies going up? No. Hmm. He's over his domain limit, so that might hurt. He needs to give that away. Nothing I can do. Give him a little bit of time, but really, his three levies that insane. 
When is this tour happening? Oh, I guess we didn't check prisoners. Prisoners. We have a seer. Oh, and my brother has given us unpressed claim on Stoutfast. Heading for my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle from a window. Just the wind, I think, until the root wind starts to speak. Roos, open up, my sweetness. It is I, Devon. I push the shutters open, and lo and behold, a man has climbed up to Roos's window. It is Lord Devon of Boldern. Who's Roos? Oh, my courtier. Why would you be... Maybe she looks good under there? I don't know. Who's Lord Devon of Boldern? Lord Arthur Spymaster. Lord Arthur of Lonely Hills. Down here. So he's trying to do something. Okay. Let's, uh... Lord Hallis of Whitestone. Yes. We shall be allied. I don't know why I'm allied with my vassals. Alright. Add an activity already, it says. Oh. Here comes the tour. At last, King Rom's entourage arrives at my gates, visiting Mormont on his tour of the north. The party's splendid garb and lofty presentation belly an ambition to awe me. Receiving the Lord of the Realm in my very own halls would be a great honor. I'm to give the king a tour of my castle in the Bear Island lands and furnish his party with beds and entertainment. The only question is, do I open the gates and let him in? What? Of course I let him in, right? I guess we could start a rivalry. But he just has too many men. Welcome, my king. Welcome. During the tour of the province of Mormon Keek, I'm lo keep I'm locked in a conversation with my liege, King Rob, during the about the glory of warfare and strife. When I am interjected by my courtier Duncan, Duncan, who seems to think he knows better about the subject than I am. Regardless, it is inappro highly inappropriate for a mere courtier to interrupt a conversation between the king of the north and his lord. Uh, I got a role play, right? Because I'm generous. Ignore it and move on. What is going on here? The bonfire sparks and cracks as our celebration for King Rob continues long into the wee hours. I putter around making small talk and sharing drinks with the people of his entourage. In a more remote corner of the bonfire grounds, I notice King Rob's courtier, Gerhard, clearly slammed and hazily grasping for another drink. As I get closer, I hear him mutter, Gerhard, get a hold of yourself. Stop pining after. He quickly stops himself when he notices my presence. I could say, oh, I have my own little hardships, you know, and try and relate to him, or just walk away. Why would I want a hook on King Rob? Poor dear. Oh, I guess if I want to blackmail him and stuff, but if I'm role-playing as him, he's not going to be doing that. I have my own hardships, you know? I learned about a secret. Okay, didn't mean to do that. It is time for the King Rob of the North to part. I must say I feel I have been a magnanimous host. He seems entirely satisfied with my performance as host and has demanded nothing of me but a promise that we may meet again. I like King Rob. Seems like he has, uh... Seems pretty content and nice. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer a child, but as an adult. Even as a child, I bet I always had a way with words. It is therefore unsurprising that he should have taken well with the study of diplomatic relations. An excellent grasp of all manners of etiquette, an understanding of all kinds of entertainment, and the eloquence to go with it, she will have little trouble navigating life at So she is allied to the Blackwood Vale, the small guy in the Blackwood Vale. Gives us 4,000 men. Off you go! Excellent. I'm not going to host anything. I could declare wars. Eel Eater wants a council. Steward. Or a seer. I want to make him my admiral because there's a military component. Lord Baldur's. Actually, I got to make him an admiral. Oh no, remember last time? This guy I couldn't give anything to for some reason? Yeah, that was glitched out. I don't know if you guys remember that, if you saw the last episode. But for some reason, I can't give him...
Yeah. One thing I do want to check out is apparently you can recruit people as spies. Hmm. Maybe that's in a certain lifestyle path. Oh no, see, recruit as a spy. I don't think I know enough to play that type of game, but let's take South fast. They have any allies? No one of merit. We should be able to take them all by ourselves. Now our nemesis. I like that we make enemies. I think that's great. Raise all our armies here. Of course, I am going to lead it. Being the new leader, but with that stupid helmet. Hit it, head in. The alley joins war, that's fine. Drunken Brawl, the tavern in Mormont is usually the perfect place to forget about the troubles of the world, but tonight is an exception. As ill luck would have it, sitting at just one table over from Isla, and I is my nemesis, Corella. I <laughs> see. So we declared war on her, then she came back to Bear Island, then she came to Bear Island to drink in my inn? Okay. She's been nuisance ever since we arrived. All it took is one more accidental spill of her spiced wine over my iron, and suddenly Isla was on her feet. Who's Isla? Is Isla my wife? No, she's my vassal and friend. Okay. Girl arises in turn, and the two are in the process of a rather drunkenly squaring up by the time I manage to haul myself to my feet as well. So, Ayla does, uh, where is she located? Okay. She's a better fighter. Ooh, I'm a better fighter than her. How dare you disrespect me? Stand aside. Corella is mine. For a few brief moments, Lady Corella and I pace in a lazy half circles, each watching for an opening. I heft my long claw, ready to defend myself while she clutches her sword firmly to hand. This fight may only be till first blood. Oh, I was hoping it would be to the death. That doesn't eat my nerves. With a sudden twitch, our belch begins. Unexpectedly, Corella manages to swing a vicious kick for my momentary shim chin. Um. Strike, parry, repost. I leap into action, launching a flurry of quick slashes, driving myself hard against Corella's guard, wearing down with her each expertly timed strike. Unexpectedly, Corella manages to swing a vicious kick for my shin. Momentarily hobbling me. My form is good with only small errors, and Carella's stance is passable. I have my opponent on the back foot, but still need to consolidate my victory. I'm not gonna just, like, break Perry Repost again. Uh, wearing down with Egypt. No one provokes me with impunity, scum screams my opponent, whirling her sword furiously at, around and near me. My form is good, hers is failing. I have my opponent on the back foot. Low increase to your likely self. Here we go. I'll show you how I heft a sword. My sword flowed or flows around Corella like water, each strike chaining fluidly into the next. A series of perfectly timed attacks. Corella stays stock still, seemingly hoping I'll just throw down my sword. My form is excellent, with a little chance for mistake, and Corella's stance is a disaster. My opponent is reeling from me. Victory so close that, that I can take it. Uh, strike, parry, repose. Let's make sure we win. We win. My sword arm moves light fast as lightning and strikes as hard as sundering stone. Blow by blow, I beat my opponent into bloody concussed submission, hammering her into the ground with all the fury the last hero can lend me. When all that's left is a quivering pile of bleeding woman, I wonder if I've gone too far. Then Corella coughs hard enough to lose her grip on the sword, and I allow myself a little sigh of relief. With that worry over, I kick my foe's weapon away and lay my own against her throat. It takes a few tries. Corella gets the yield out of did I at least wound her? Good. That'll help in the war, hopefully. Okay, where's my army? There we go. Let's keep watching. She didn't really stand a chance. It was like 43 to two, 12 in, uh, what's it called? Um, prowess skill. I'm going to just light their army up. She doesn't have a chance here either. Troads can marry who? My half-sister, sure. If they were betrothed before, no point in wrecking it. 
start sieging down the capital. We've taken prisoners. Can we squeeze some gold out of them? Nope. Oh, he's kind of a good spy master. I could release him. As I siege this down, he can hold one more. Well, so I'll give it to him to hold the north north. Odd matters arrived at my court today, looking more like a vagrant than a courtier. Uh, the man announces that he is a hedge wizard and declares he can be of use to me. My guards begin to move to throw the hedge wizard out of the court. court. He looks terrible, and he's a lunatic. Clearly, he is deranged. I want to deal with him. Ah, oh, my wife is pregnant. Perhaps? Yes. She holds a province? All the way over there? Wow. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. We got a Marshall perk. Do Bellum Justum. Always useful when you're trying to conquer. Okay, we've seen this before. I know how we can implore both strategies. Implore? implore? Impl no. Use. Ah, oh, my steward gives me 36 taxes. I like that. End this war swiftly. There. My counselor died. Marg was slain in battle. That's too bad. What was he? My spy master. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I guess you're the best for it. I had twins! You've been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have two perfect little boys who will become my dears and what shall I call you? Robard and Albert. I'm not gonna... There's a tradition on this channel to name heirs after certain people. Um, but once he gets married and his heir, I will name after that. Probably the longest... Um, the longest serving or longest watching uh, of the channel. Um, so if you want to get your name in here too, please just let me know. Asher Barath. The plagues make so many pop-ups, it's almost uh, too much. Okay, we've taken that land. Of course it's the miserable Varen, your low character is the subject of mummer shows. You are greater foe, much foe, greater foe than I, you are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, shed, I will comply with your demand. I'm straight, you will. Low county control. I can station a man with men at arms. Um, I can ransom prisoners. Heal and wheel. Interesting. Making some money. Beautiful. Gonna give the thistle you. You have three. Whatever my sister wants, my sister gets. Expand our army. Hopefully, you guys can't hear that uh, additionally. What's he doing? Okay, he's kind of doing better, which is nice. We'll see. Okay, let's uh, get control over the north as the north north, I will f always refer to as. Is, uh... That's not... Can I change culture anywhere? I can, if I want to. How long is that gonna take? Seven years. I don't know if the Bearsmen are that important. It'd also be nice to get a Dynasty, uh... perk. But we haven't. Where would I even see that anymore? Legacies. Oh, we do have two. House of Warriors and General Belligerents. This, so this is the thing I need to get to send people to the wall. Um, which I would like to work towards. But we'll see. Okay, what's our next step? We actually came out ahead on that money-wise. Do we have a truce with them? 
Doesn't look like it, so let's get a claim at least. Scar Mountain seems to be the more useful. He worries me. At least his son is a bearman. Did I murder him? 95% chance to murder him. Is this our first murder? Let's do it. Look at his prowess. Oh my god. That's crazy. I think I need to invite anybody. All can be convinced, but I'm not going to bribe anyone. So I think we just wait for that next one to proc, see what happens. Need some money. Anything I can build at home. Daisy! Poor Daisy of Arendelle. That's just too bad. What counselor did- or courtier? Sorry, counselor did I lose? My castellan! My castellan needs a good sum of everything. Oh, Rosalind! You will shall take his place. Where is this? Aaron? Oh, right there. Why do I- I should not have given stuff to Drown God. Wait. This should be held by my... Family, should it not? What happened? Interesting. Interesting. I don't like that at all. Can I get her to convert? Not look like it. I must have completely lost that. Our murder scheme's going. Can we buy anything? Build anything? No. Nope. If I build stuff in here, I only get a percentage of quarries. Holding taxes would be good. Yeah, I hold that one. What about in Bearstone? Oh, Bearstone's underdeveloped. Okay. Let's see. Need money. Trade port. There we go. Hopefully. Piracy is being daily stable and building costs double. I don't think our monthly income has grown very much. Uh, let's play through. A lord to scare, a local mystic with dubious morals and a fabricated omen. Perfect. Before the mystic leaves for Lord Andric's court, there is but one question. Will my false omen be one of fortune or of doom? What does good omen do? It gives him a health boost. Bad omen hurts him. Bad omen. Make sure that his son is an old god. Uh, lines about legacy. The latest work of my acquaintance, Lord Rickon, has been become all the rage at court of late. Peace deals with the memory and what we leave behind, and Rickon has publicly dedicated it to me. The legacy of a lord. And need not fear as lives depart, provided they leave behind them aught. It is rare enough for men to admit that all they leave behind is shit. Oh, sorry everyone. Swear word. Uh, so far I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. Uh, Rickon, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Yeah, sure. Give me money for rent. I don't care. Evil antagonist. I'm just gonna let her go. Him too. Oh no, he's a good commander. I'm gonna recruit him. Should actually pick out his courtiers. Can I recruit any of these guys? You usually need a hook or a bribe, and I don't want to do that. 
That's just too convoluted. Doesn't need a guardian. Me. Or Helmet Mormon. What are my sons like? He a knight? He's a formidable fighter. He's too old to squire. What about my second son? Albert is my daughter. Helmet is my son. And I send him somewhere to become a knight. King Rob. Offer squire. My brother-in-law won't... Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't have anyone to go to be knight. I wish it was a pop-up. I spy master you while uh, we do not yet know someone's plotting to kill my wet nurse, Frella. That's not... Right back to my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born this day 46 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationship I've cultivated over the years. But it saddens me that I have not heard from Leanna or any of my friends today. I trudge along in my chambers, loneliness impending my lazy feet. I hear a clang and hushed whispers from down the hallway. What could it be at the shower? I don't know why I'm Sean Connery all of us. What a surprise! All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of life. Oh, that's sweet. There's an even an entire table laden, laden, laden blah, blah, with saffron cakes, my favorite. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that Lyanna went through all the trouble of arranging this in secret. I had not a clue such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at. My friend Ayla approaches me, struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the trickster, she says, I have three gifts here for your choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? Oh, which one should it be? Small one. Ah! Morsel of Baylor the Blessed. Baylor the Blessed. Uh, to the stream Verum, I've been corresponding with your Chancellor, Lord Halus, and I must say that I've come to see you in a new light. Oh, that's nice. Because you're next. Let's equip that artifact. Clergy opinion. And Varen's Milk Tooth. Cool. That's, uh, I had that before. Yeah, I'm making less money now. Like, what is going on here? Vassals. 3.2... Doodle Paramount. Okay, I can bribe for that claim. Need to make more money, so let's talk to our vassals. You give me feudal taxes high, I will protect your title. How much does that change? Why does it go down? I'm giving you protected... How did she take this over? I don't like that. I don't want to protect her because she's not of my lineage. You, what are you giving me? Nothing. Okay. We made some money. You're going to be dead soon, so I'm going to Lord E. I point. You've been pretty good to me. I will give you... If I bump this up, I... It's only point one. it's not worth it. Assassin, the time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will play pay the assassin the very night the deed will happen. Another will ensure the wall is unguarded, and a third will leave a subtle trail of candles to Lord Andrick's bedchamber. Everything is in place. 95% chance. Do it. The plan worked, and Lord Andrick of Pine's End is finally dead. I've covered my tracks well, and if anyone suspects me for being behind the attack, no one dares say it out loud. I do love surprise visits. <laughs> Got him. Um, I need new marshal now, though. Uh, Mistress Nella of Rod Spa, you're quite good. Increase control in there. How's my control actually levels? That would be good. I'm good. Okay. And we declare war on this group. And. Who is this guy? 
Here. What do I have claims on? Gar Mountain. So we're gonna you help Renolf Wool. One of my captains, he's gonna claim on Trent Stone. And then after we'll help him with the other part of his claim. These all our armies here. And I don't believe they stand a chance. Let's go take Trent Stone right away. I wonder if there's truces in this or if I can just continuously attack. Renowned inventor Teresa has sought me out with a very odd petition, carrying a pair of wings made from wood and silk. Long have humans lusted to throw sore through the heavens, she says, and I've made calculations I please approve that we can. Allow me to jump from the tallest tower of your castle. Um... Lend me those wings, I want to fly. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Uh, very well. I'll allow it. 40% chance she dies. Let's see what happens. She flew! No. Insane. Let's honor her with a marriage. Her prowess. You can marry Brandon or Castle. Not a bad name. It's 48 prowess. Holy crap. A lot of prowess in this game. Should actually check to see my unmarried, uh, Port. Lanella. Yes, Lanella. Bring me a fighter. Clarion will do. I don't know why I'm doing voices today. I think I'm just... Really energy. I had a good nap. Uh, accept your marriage proposal. Your quarter of is my acquaintance. Yeah, yeah. Let's take out the army first. You're always there for me and hope you know that I am grateful. My son Helmin approaches me in a rare moment of contemplation. I can, I can fabricate a hook on my son. I say, that is what it means to be a guardian. There we go. Wipe that out. Let's go for the captain. Iron Kappler right away. Powerful vast. Oh! Join you in the Liberty War. What is this war? Got 6,000 people against 24,000 people. Are you crazy? If we decline, what happens? I lose fame. I'm okay with that. Like, this is a fight you cannot win. Unless I call my banners in. Or I just don't go down there. Like, what are you doing? You have no allies. You've got 10,000, you've got how much with me? 14,000? We are Mormont and we follow our words. We will join you in this fight after we have taken this north. And I call my allies to it. Oh. Oh, I'm allied with King Edgar. I wonder how much I'm paying to my liege. Not that much. Not enough to want over. All the way down there, eh? I'm gonna let him lose. I'm not gonna even risk my men. Lose, we lose. I'm gonna need to start coming an overseer because uh we have some people that don't like us. It's been a good while since I saw my old heartthrob Katrina. Oh yes, she does look like a heartthrob. Uh even after all these years the thought of her as the subject of my childhood infatuation occupies my mind in the midnight hours. She is a woman now, and I cannot help but feel myself reaching for my quill, and then I think of her but No. I must set aside. I love my wife. It's kind of funny that that pops up later. Not in debt. Ah. Take that. Any prisoners I can ransom? 
Give me prisoners, I need money. I can go to that hunt. Lord Qualton might join the Liberty Army as an enemy. Okay, I don't care. Messenger arrives at my court today with a craft for aid in dealing with a rather than troublesome herd of aurochs. Massive beasts are a far cry from the domesticated cattle we raise for their meat. The aurochs are all muscle and aggression. Boy, hunt! Most dangerous game. The aurochs have managed to find a valley popular with local herbsmen. For grazing their sheep. The problem is that the herd has not moved from the spot and is overgrazing the land. The locals have tried to disperse the herd. Herd. Mount up, men. Our steeds race to the back of the herd, my men following. Unfortunately, one of my hand gestures was misinterpreted and a break opened in our ranks. Oh, okay. Failed. That's too bad. Oh, he's winning. Right now. Oh, he has more allies than I thought. For you. There we go. Got that lands. Randolph Wolf. So we have a loyal, loyal vassal. The hook. With this hook, you would get axes. And I'm also going to give you this land. Okay, so we have a truce. I wish it would tell me how long our truce Uh, do we want to get down there and involved in this fight? Sure, why not? Yes, we help our friends in need, even though we go into debt. Well, they're running away from... into a big fight. This might decide the war here. What is he doing? He needs to get back here. He just lost the war. Well, perhaps not. Perhaps not. You pardon your brother. Why would I pardon my brother? What's wrong with him? I'm going to pardon my brother. He's my maester. Brother. Not to think being down here is smart. Need to consolidate their armies. Like, what are they doing? Oh, they're going to try and siege down uh, River Run. Uh, come help them because I have the siege uh, equipment. See what we can do. Wish I could call people in. in significant debt from that. I will try and break the river run. Be a long time and we do not have enough men for us. Ruins of the first man. A construction project in the area has been made a fascinating discovery. Apparently, a local builder has unearthed a cache of stones that are engraved with the first man. The builder is offering to sell me the stones for what he describes as a very fair price. The Meisters taught us that the first man engraved their runes on stones and other objects they first came to Westeros. Some even said, What does this give me? Prestige, don't care about that. I don't need. I don't need such things. I think we gotta get out of here. What's our total strength here? 12,000 against 23,000. We get wiped. But we stand. Stop the build behind this. They're breaking off. Let's break off. Get out of here. I get wiped out. Ugh. Just poor leadership from them, really. I possibly could have won that if I had his troop. Hmm, Bull of Mermaid Keep. I'm done with this. I need to disband them when I can. 
You can lose your little war. Anything I can do? Peace. No. Should not have gone south. I knew it. I think our next biggest target is uh, Wolfswood. Keep making some money. You're not employing a wet nurse. What happened to a wet nurse? Alice, you can be uh, Rob, can I give you one of my wires? No. I wish there was pop-ups for the night stuff. How are you doing? 86 now. North does not seem to be worth it if you're not tribal or a Northman at all. It's too bad. Oh my gosh, seriously? Uh, little small person. No. Oh. It was a 750 thing. Oh my god. Horses. Oh, Not bad, but okay. A raise here. You have to go on the sea anyway. And who are we fighting? We might have a chance in this one if he pieces out of the other one. Idiot. men down once they're formed. These are siege weapons. is there's that big river run host there I surrender no you know what I'm gonna chill then she joined the war this guy's an idiot I hope he dies this bad you guys I don't have money anyway but we'll just take the loss. Uh, the gift of generosity. Sometimes being generous isn't the best. Diligence. Hard work. Now he's down to 29. Yeah, this is not a viable thing. That means next time maybe we take on Mance Raider. So for the next couple playthroughs that I'm going to do, because I'm going to keep playing this one, obviously. I was thinking either Dorn to finally avenge. Um, they're pretty big. Uh, or North of the Wall. That's what I'm thinking so far. I don't know much about the other places. Oh, we'll see. If we could do an invasion of the Seven Kingdoms. That would be... Fantastic. Potentially with your grandsons. Or Miles. No, thank you. Not after what your father has put me through. Getting raided. Where? Ice fishing. Okay, we've seen this one before. Uh, we will join them. Diligent people that they are. How has she not wiped him out yet? Like, that's insane. What is she doing? Ooh. Lord Tomon's grand tournament. I'd love to. I don't have any money, though. No cost. I won't bring anybody. Let's join it. Where is it? All the way down there. Ah! White Harbor. Can't wait. There as quick as we can. 
tired of dealing with all these wars and real fighting. Let's have fun. My half-sister, Emilia, gave birth to a son. That matter. You grow strong and wise, Jora. Ah, I went got to Winterfell. That's kind of cool. Winterfell, seat of House Start and Heart of the North, standing proud and tall amongst the vastness of the North. As I approach the castle from the King's Road, I pass through the Winter Town, the spacious and at the moment largely empty, empty settlement outside the walls. As I move further east, the walls come to dominate the skyline. The outer reaches 80 feet, the inner another 20 higher. They are darker and gray. The weathered stone speaks to the great age of the castle. The east gate stands open and, un and welcoming, and inside you find King War Robert of the North waiting with salt and bread. After the bestowing of guest right, he gives you leisure to explore the castle. Godswood. Down crypts. Do I have time? 56 days. No, I'm definitely not going to go there. Let's do history. I make my way pay. This is really cool. I make my way past the ancient first keep. Walking among the lichen-spotted headstone in the lichyard, where the servants of the old kings of winter lie. Before me stands an old ironwood door, the entrance to the labyrinthian crypts. Each step downwards is marked by a new chill as I descend from the world of the living, the catacombs of the dead. Walking around the crypts, I find the dark corridors a maze. Faint torchlight gives us little guidance. As I come to an intersection, I must choose right or left. Torches to the left. So, just so you guys know, at any time in a game, I read the novelization of Resident Evil 2 when I was a kid, and uh, Leon Kennedy is running away something. I think it's the alligator, and he says, most people, whenever given a choice, they always choose right, and that's stuck with me, so I always choose left. So, let's go left. As I continue down the corridor, I find myself face to face with the statue of a man, a king crowned king. On either side of his throne are some di stone direworths, and upon his lap is a sword, long ago rusted. A few words etched upon the side are slightly worn away, but still decipherable. King the third, King Brandon the third, the breaker of the north. I can't help but look upon the statue with more respect. This was the famed king who united with the Jorman, king beyond the wall, to bring an end to the night kings and his corpse bride. Together. Who would defend the realms of men against the horrors that the night kings that the knight's king would surely have wrought? Doesn't have very good stats. How'd he die? Unknown causes. The history of here is palpable. What's this do? Me learning. Okay. Never forget this day. Thank you, sir, for allowing me to visit Winterfell. We are here! Yes! Alright. Uh, first one's a melee, so let's go to the turning grounds. Go, Petal, go faster! I hear a man's voice echo across the grounds. I look up to see a small thing hurrying through the sky, like a little black bolt of lightning. Soon enough, it swoops down. Ah, oh, you must have cheated. Your bird cannot fly like that. Just look at her. She's as graceful as a goose. The angry loser shouts. This is excellent entertainment. Enjoyed that. Let's keep it going. So I think we'll fight the tourney and then that'll be it for me. Let's go to tent camp. Yeah, I don't want to sabotage them. Let's go to the temple. Bring me glory, the last hero. I shall take a moment to myself in the small temporary old god shrine near the sept of White Harbor. Nisa is standing at a respectful distance away, pondering in the presence of the gods. I find myself wondering. What is it, I wish, in my heart of hearts? Yes, one of inner glory. But we should do okay in the melee and duel, but archery... Doesn't look promising. Clear divide being drawn between the two teams who stand across from each other, taunting as they prepare. Horses are readied in the background, the cha chargers whinnying and harumphing. It will be a brutal day's work. This should be good. To the field! To the field, man! Uh, my gaze drifts over the crowd. The general hubbub flows around me. All spectators engaged in conversation are geeing up contestants. All apart from one, I notice. Barbary is staring directly at me. Our gaze is locked before she immediately breaks eye contact, flitting her eyes around anywhere other than me. Normally, I'd be suspicious, but the bite bitten lip and constant stolen glances back to check if I'm still watching tells something of a different story in this case. I'm here to watch, not flirt. I'm actually here to fight. I better be fighting. Both teams are nearly even. 
Who wins while you are engaged in the melee? Did I not qualify? I didn't qualify. What? Okay, I'm not even going to read this stuff. I may not qualify for archery. That's disappointing. Or name on Steam. Uh. The captains stand assembled for the day's training, their attendant laden with kilt. Lady Rosalind and myself stand before our. Captains, what you do not know, ask humbly to be taught. Together we represent the Lord. Let us together prepare for our glories. He turns to me, eyes gleaming. Command us. Watch their, our opponents and learn their weak. On track to qualify. Yeah! Even though my archery sucks. For the turning grounds. Um... Behold, my kinsworm and Lyra's death has left in my heart remains clawed open each time I think of her foul killer and the justice that remains to be served. Day after day, the cruel logic of revenge dominates my thinking. Lyra Mormont? What happened to her? Oh. Challenged him. Do we get to challenge him? That's my rival. Rival. Got a huge feud against House Bullock. I like that. Then we're gonna pin him. So we can remember that we want to take them out. Marching to the attorney grounds to join a group of contestants, contestants practicing their showmanship with measured enthusiasm. A few spectators already look down at us, chewing roasted meat and spitting bones. Churls calling for spectacle. Some of us gripe at this distraction from our training. Others, amidst the hollering, insist that this has become a moment for proving. Seven. What are you looking at? Do I get dread? Maybe I make him more dreadful. Eight. So we have done archery before, so I'm just going to read it quick. I'm not going to read them out loud. Time to show the world my skill. I'm not going to cheat. Crowd murmurs placidly as Esmir takes his mark. Silence, have some damn respect for the competitors. I'm not gonna cough. Best and get on it. I'll give them something to cheer. You hit the target blindfolded. Nice. I'm one with the bow, 75%, 65%, 75%. One of the front wires were almost neck and neck. One last knock. Lost. Oh. I just can't win these archery ones, everybody. So close. Eight okay. duels. Don't want to offend Lord Malcolm. Go on, let's go to the artisan quarters. Noble's blood, Norin. I break through the gloom. Where he stands, all I need is just the smallest smash of noble blood to quench a blade. The sword will be the finest weapon ever made. Songs will be sung of me. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Get my blood. It's noble blood. I don't know, if you think of any uh, playthroughs you'd love to see, I'm ready. Okay, the time slows with Theodorex. Oh, these are duels, so this is great. Swords arc overhead, blades singing through the air. There's no insignificant blow. If I stay where I am, it will do me more than enough damage. The matter should be a simple one, as such as a, a wild attack leaves an instigator open for a counter. But there lies a nagging feeling at the back of my mind. The grimace snarl Theodric has as he launched the blow is understandable given the effort, but I fancy the tiniest glimmer of satisfaction. Oh. I got you now. 90% counter blow works perfectly. Counter blow works. Beautiful. And I've wounded him? Or screeching chorus of metal on metal rings out as two blades scrape down each other's lengths. Sparks glittering as they fall to the ground. I look for advantages, thinking back to when I had to choose between a counter and a block against my aggressive opponent. The duel is still so close. Its victor could be either one of us. They're obviously going to pick the one with the highest chance. I must remember my training. Yes! Victorious! 
victory. How's this guy? 26. I should be able to beat him. I can do this. Thunk, my body thuds in the wooden wall at the edge of the arena. Harith having bodily hurled me there with a snarl. No sooner has he done so than Harris face morphs into a smug smile. And to my astonishment, he turns away from me completely. Raising his arms and banging the crowd, he curls up his arms and flexes in imitation of a traveling strongman. The cheers from the crowd redouble. These fickle parrot peasants are eating me up. I'm going to flex like a crowd. I'm going to flex just like him. This is what a real man looks like. Uh, screeching metal. I'm winning the fight by some margin. I just need to hold it together. Must remember my training. I lost. Come on. Who wins it? That's disappointing. A disappointing end. I lose to that little guy. Look, a 23. Oh, I had the highest prowess of all of them. I didn't win. Oh, well, it was fun. What a great occasion. Let's head back home. Once we get home. Oh, hey. Winter pelts. There we go. Soon we can get watchers on the walls. Who's this guy? He's not very good. I'm gonna fight him. Now he's in my court. Oh, uh, for entreat. Not the first time I catch Captain Rogar fiddling around with some flowers he's picking along. Okay, so this is the one he wants to leave for Jessamine. Not even beautiful, but she's a fornicator. Stay with her. Who is this? You may follow. Who you love. Because neither of you are that good. While passing through the village of Winterton, I spent some time talking to Lossal. One thing that stands out is their intense loyalty to the liege. One villager talks with a passion that I would think they were describing a real lover rather than a ruler. I will make my subjects equally loyal. We didn't check if we had any prisoners that could ransom. Let you go. Neither of you are that good. So I think the, uh... Kind of stagnated a little bit. I get a part martial perk. Uh, Helmet has been oddly quiet for much of the day, so I decided to be prudent to go check up on him. Oh, sorry, everybody. Uh, Albert wanted to ride, but I decided we should play board games and stay instead. Eccentric. Pickle. You can be stubborn, just like me. Um, advanced tactics. There we go. Okay, everybody, I think that's good timing. That's about an hour. My house is feuding with Bullock. So, where are they? We have one title. All the way down there. Well, that's disappointing. We'll see what happens. We'll see what events. I could just fabricate a claim, but we'll see what events. Okay. Who can we fabricate claims on? Let's take a look. Cedar Peaks, perhaps, next? Or should I go into Morewood? Once I have this, I have all of the Iron Mountains. I already have some of the Black Pine. Wolves would be interesting. They're allied with White Harbor, though. We'll figure this out next time. So, thank you for joining me, people. If you want to see a different playthrough or the next playthrough, give me suggestions in the comments, because uh, I'm thinking Beyond the Wall. I'm thinking maybe Night's Watch. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll do it. So this has been Teacher Plays. Thank you for joining me. Uh, support for this series has been fantastic. Class dismissed.